Senegal, once a beacon of democracy in West Africa, is facing a challenging political climate under President Macky Sall. The arrest of opposition leader Usman Sonko and the subsequent suppression of dissent are stark indicators of a democracy in peril. The United States and the European Union have long-standing commitments to promoting democracy and the rule of law in Africa. The U.S. Millennium Challenge account, for instance, ties aid to stringent democracy, transparency, and rule of law criteria. Excerpt from the Millennium Challenge account states, Countries must demonstrate a commitment to just and democratic governance, economic freedom, and investing in their citizens. Similarly, the EU's engagement with African nations underscores a commitment to human dignity, freedom, democracy, equality, the rule of law, and respect for human rights. However, Senegal's political landscape under President Macky Sall seems to be falling short of these international standards. The dissolution of opposition parties, suppression of free speech and allegations of corruption challenge the fundamental principles of democracy, transparency and rule of law. As Senegal gears towards the 2024 presidential elections, the stakes are high. The Senegalese population stands at a critical juncture, expecting the EU and US to uphold their commitments to democracy. Any failure to take decisive actions could be seen as complicity, potentially affecting the geopolitical rapport between Senegal, the EU and the US. The call is clear. The US and EU must reaffirm their commitments through tangible actions that uphold democratic values in Senegal, fostering a conducive environment for fair and free elections in 2024. The democratic integrity of Senegal is not just a national concern, but a matter of international responsibility and solidarity.